What is tested during the drone flight review? Earlier, we discussed the drone flight review includes flight planning, pre-flight check, and the actual flight itself. So your flight review will start with a complete site survey for both the made up location and actual flight location. This includes airspace management and location planning details, also emergency procedures with accident or incident reporting. Then you need to complete a pre-flight check, for example, drone inspection, return to home settings, lost link settings, battery, final weather check, and maybe more. After pre-flight check, you'll finally get to the flying part. During the 15-minute flight, you'll be asked to complete specific flight maneuvers, use the various safety and navigation features from your drone. For example, after takeoff, hover at 10 meters high, or yell the drone to face yourself, fly backwards to 60 meters distance. We'll also ask you to fly around objects, check the drone's status, telemetry data, use return to home, obstacle avoidance, and more to make sure you are skilled for safe and legal flight. At the end of the flight after landing, you get the result and feedback of your flight review. If you've passed, you'll be able to download your advanced license from Transport Canada's drone management portal. The ultimate goal of a drone flight review is to confirm your skills and knowledge are suitable for advanced drone operations. So how you are completing the flight review is as important as what. For example, how long it took to answer emergency procedures. While well, if it takes 10 minutes to know what to do in an emergency, then it's probably not very effective. Or how you're handling the unexpected, such as approaching birds. If you're freaking out with some drastic flight maneuvers, then even if there was no accident, you may not pass the flight review because there is something called pilot mentality. In fact, flight reviewers often assess this more than the flight itself. As drone pilots, we fly close to trees, buildings, much lower to the ground than passenger airplanes. So we have little time to react before accidents happen. The ability to stay calm and make the right decision it's a large part of being a qualified drone pilot. With all that being said, as flight reviewers, we're not here to rush you on everything. You here take your time a lot during the pre-flight check. For example, if you need to look up the drone's user menu or check the site's security measures, we understand it can be stressful for a new pilot taking the flight review. That's why our flight review includes one hour setup time for you to get comfortable and prepared. You are also allowed to make mistakes during the flight review, as long as they are not unsafe or illegal. You also need to correct the mistake and able to complete the flight review. Although flight review is an exam, you'll find our flight reviewers respectful and helpful, regardless of your skills level. Don't be afraid to ask them for clarification during the flight review.